All right, let's take a look at free response number five from the 2016 free response, uh, sorry, 2016, 2023 AP exam. Uh, the comments or description will have any corrections because the solutions are not available yet, but this is my best guess at what the answer would look like. This is what how I would answer them. So wild biologists are interested in the health of a tule elk, a species of deer, deer found in California. Important measurement of the is their weight. The weight of the tulk is difficult to measure. The weight's here. Just I, I just like to point things out that what they're going to show me here. However, chest circumference, which is believed <clears throat> to be related to weight of the tulk, can be measured from a safe distance using a harmless laser. A study was done to in investigate whether the chest circumference could be used to accurately estimate the weight. For the study, wild biologists captured 30 male elk, measured their chest circumference weight, and then released the elk. The data for the 30 male tulk are shown in the scatter plot. Okay, describe the relationship between chest circumference weight. Okay, so this is a linear regression. So how do we want to describe it? We want to talk about the strength of the core of the association. We want to talk about the direction, positive or negative. We want to talk about um, the shape. Is it linear or not? Linear or not? And we talk about any potential outliers. Okay, so here we would say um, it looks like pretty linear. Okay, looks like a pretty good straight line. I would say it's a pretty strong relationship. And it's positive. Positive means as one goes up, the other goes up. So this is a, there is a strong, positive, linear relationship uh, between <clears throat> chest circumference and weight. There are no apparent outliers. Are there any data points that I'm missing? Nope, no apparent outliers. There are no apparent outliers. All right. Let's take a look at this one. Following equation is the equation of least squares regression line relating the chest circumference. So this is the predicted weight is this number plus that. So they just did that for you. The weight of one male tule elk with a chest circumference is that and that. Use the equation of least squares regression line, calculate the predicted weight of this male tuck, show your work. So the predicted weight, the y hat, is going to be negative 350.3 plus 3.7455 times the chest circumference. The chest circumference is right here. Uh, 149, sorry, 145.9. So we just put that into our calculator. 0.3, so 3.7455 times 145.9. And I get 196.168 kilograms. And that would be my predicted predicted weight. All right, so this is the actual weight. This is the observed weight. This is the predicted weight. The residual is observed minus prediction. So the residual is the observed minus the predicted. So we're going to take our observed value, 204.3, and subtract the predicted value, 196.168. So you do 204.3 minus the answer there, and I get 8.1316 kilograms, or 55. I just rounded, I just truncated or rounded to four decimal places. Okay, um, the equation of the least squares regression line relating chest circumference and weight from the male to lake is repeated here. Interpret the slope. Okay, slope is always for every every increase by the x variable by one increase in chest circumference by one centimeter. The predicted weight of the male tall elk, male tule elk increases, we say increases because it's positive, if it's negative it decreases by 3.7455 kilograms. Okay, that's a standard way we interpret slope. For every increase in the x variable by one unit, okay, so um, put the unit in there, I think the unit's important, just to get the full context, uh, does that. The sandbar, another species of deer similar in size to the tule elk. The slope of the population regression line, increasing the blah, 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 is 4.5 kilograms per centimeter. Wildlife biologist wants to determine whether the slope of the population regression line from, is different than that for male sandbars. Let beta represent the slope of the population. Regression line for a male tule elk. The wildlife 
just conducts a test of the following hypothesis using a sample of 30 elk. Beta equals 4.5, and the test statistic was calculated to be 3.408. Now this is a this is what we do. Assume all conditions for inference were met. Determine the p-value. So we want the probability. <coughs> um, so kind of how do you do this probability? Remember this is a, 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 a it's a normal curve. Okay, and we want not equal to, so our t statistic is kind of like this x variable in our t distribution, 3.408. Now this is a t distribution, and we want the, um, we just want the, the tail areas here. So this is like a standardized, so this is mean zero, and standard deviation one, or s is equal to one technically. Um, because when you when you have a test statistic, you've normalized it to a mean zero standard deviation one kind of curve. Now the degrees of freedom, you have to be careful for when you're doing a beta test, degrees of freedom is n minus two. So it's actually 28 is the degrees of freedom. So we're going to use TCDF to find this area. Now, because it's not equal, you want both areas because they didn't actually say greater or left. They actually want these two areas. So I'm actually going to double that area. And how am I going to find one area is I'm going to use TCDF. Now, TCDF, the way TCDF works is um, it will only, on my calculator, maybe you can put a left and right bounds. Mine will only, oh yeah, mine can do left and right bounds. So 3.408, oops, 3.408. Upper is 1E99, or just a huge number. And the degrees of freedom is 28. Now you're gonna get that value. That's the area just to the right here. And then you're gonna double that. So then we're gonna get, so you can either point out this area was 0 0.001. And so the total area, the p-value is 0 0.002, like that. And at a significance level of 0 0.05, what conclusion would the wildlife biologist make regarding the slope of the population regression line for the male to elk? Justify your response. So you would say um, there, because again, the p-value is less than 0 0.05, we have sufficient evidence to reject the null hypothesis, but I'm not going to say reject the null evidence to conclude what is rejecting the null hypothesis in this case is that beta is not 4.5 that the uh, conclude that the, um, <clears throat> What is this beta again? I don't even remember what this is. Bit. Slope of the population regression line. That the slope of the population that the slope of the population regression line is not 4.5. Okay, so we have enough evidence to say that it's not 4.5. That's all we conclude there. That's all we were asked to conclude or, or, or running this test for. Okay. <clears throat> 